Hey, this is Jason with Novice Temps, and I've got the next Hacker Box here. So, I think I read online that this was something to do with power generation. So, let's see what we got. Let's... So, we have a digit display of some sort. Three digit display. Uh, we have. What is this? Does it open this way? I should probably dig out the sheet. There we go. Okay, this thing. USB. Displays voltage, current, and discharge capacity. So this hooks up to something. Oh, I see. The uh, the wording on here is a little odd, um, but it looks yeah. So uh, you hook it up. How does it output? Double click a button. Doo -doo -doo. So this is a, a probe, a, a, a voltage current probe for a USB device. So you can test the voltage and current of a charger or test the discharge capacity of like an external battery um, possibly even of a device that's interesting um, got some alligator clips some shrink tubing that's promising let's see uh, rubber feet these things might be rubber feet maybe um, huh, wow. Uh, there's a MOSFET on here, which usually means power. Uh, what is that? Um, that's also a MOSFET in there? It's definitely a, a transistor of some sort in this little tiny package, which is a little weird. So I'm guessing this is like a power transformer maybe or a switching module or um, I don't see I guess all the inputs are back here that's or or here yeah okay in and out so it's probably solder wires on to yeah it's a power transformer I'm guessing let's see we have a switching module for main switching. So this will uh, switch high power, high current, so AC power, um, just a relay. We've got, what is this thing? So this is a communications module for an Arduino. I've seen these before. I just, uh, Allows you to hook up an Arduino to a computer, standard stuff. Uh, USB, oh, there's two modules in here. Are these also just communication? They don't look like communication. Let's see. Okay. So this looks like Also power? LC technology. This almost looks like it just outputs power from USB. Uh, this one has more connections, but I'm not sure exactly what this does. Uh, what's that? Ooh. Okay. So we got some... Ooh, interesting. 
There's some stuff in there. Not sure what these are. These are definitely electronic components, and these are just connectors, uh, banana connectors, it looks like. Um, I wonder, oh. So we might be making our own, like, DC power gen power. That would be interesting. Um, so a potentiometer in here, a uh, switch, and oh, the dial for the for the potentiometer. Um, yeah, it looks like these components, um, and maybe maybe all of this is like a soldering project. Probably this, maybe the. Maybe this. I don't know. Um, I'm guessing this probably wouldn't be part of the project. But this looks and that's some more heat shrink. And this would make sense for um, high voltage or, or at least medium voltage. Uh, you want to protect your wires. So we got some DuPont cables. We've got just a, oh, a USB, that's cool. Uh, just a USB extension cable. Uh, we have a Bluetooth. AI cloud inside. This is some sort of wireless communications, either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Ooh, that's I kind of like that. That's a nice symbol there. So we got a wrench. We got a soldering iron going into a gear on the keychain. That's I like that. We have a battery pack. So maybe it's a uh, um, doing. Uh, DC power, but from a, a battery pack source, which would make more sense for hobbyists like us. We have a Swiss multi-tool in a key form. Uh, we have the hacker boxes, that same logo on the keychain. Yep. Elite Maker Bench Supply. So we're going to be creating a power supply. I'm wondering if they're wanting us to use the box. That would be cool. Reuse these boxes. So this will be uh, interesting. 12 volt. Huh. So we've got the uh, triangle, not really triangle, amps, volts, powers, ohms. Normally power is left out because you can get that from uh, amps and volts. So. Uh, yeah, all the different uh, calculations for Ohm's Law um, to convert everything. Cool stuff. So, okay, so here we go. Um, this guy is a buck boost, uh, 12 volts to 35 volts. Or, sorry, 1.2 volts for, to 35 volts. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, we have a... Uh, one amp lithium battery charger. That's this guy. And then we have a 9 to 5 volt USB supply. So this is probably going to be the main driver for the DC uh, adjustable power source that, you know, the feed R2 that... Unless this... Hmm. This is very cool. I like this. Uh, 5 volts makes sense. 12 volts is a little... Maybe a little high. Maybe not. I might re-record all this because this is interesting. Uh, I'm going to look at the instructions online and, and check this out. I'm definitely building this this one because I've wanted a uh, DC power source, voltage source, for uh, mostly my classes. I'm doing some, uh, right now I'm taking circuit theory, so AC. Um, it's fun stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I know I was a little rambly at this, but this one's intriguing to me. I'm not like super excited in the way that I was with like the the Halloween one. This is more intellectually excited because uh, I'm getting more and more used to seeing the components, identifying them, seeing what they do, uh, and the the uses that I can see from these components is is pretty up there. Um, it's cool that there isn't an Arduino, uh, even though there's like a com communications module, which uh, in the past has been paired with an Arduino. So this might be to uh, just do diagnostics on the uh, 
power source that we're going to be making because there's no reason you couldn't hook it up to a computer and send information back and forth and even control it from a computer, uh, which would be cool. Um, let's see. Doing it wirelessly would be good too. I'm, I really want to know what we're going to do with this little transistor, this little MOSFET type. Interesting. Well, um, I'm rambling a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, this is going to be cool. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to do this. I'm, I'll definitely film me putting this together once I read up more on it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.